Talking about Mariah Carey as a businesswoman, you've got your own uh, L, uh, label now, huh? Eh? Mm -hmm. Crave Records. Crave Records. Yes. Um, besides Allure, they had a uh, Allure. How do you Allure. pronounce Allure? You mm -hmm. say it like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they had a huge hit here in Holland. W what can we expect more of? I Crave Records. I co-produced that record, by the way. Mm. Well, good song. She didn't know. Um, what else can we expect? Um, well, we have a lot of stuff going on. One record that I just that I personally worked on is a group called Seven Mile, um, and the the song is called After, and I wrote it with Stevie J, who works, you know, with Puffy and the whole Bad Boy family, and it's one of my favorite things that I've ever done, and they're incredible singers from Detroit. They're really, really talented, so that's coming soon. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming off Crave soon, so. But you, do you pick out the demos? If, if people send demos uh, out to you, you pick them out yourself, you listen to them? No, and, uh, we have different A&R people who usually edit those down and then I'll meet with the artist when they're getting to a point where, you know, they might want to meet with me or whatever. But it's it's mainly, I mean, I get involved more with like the R&B projects like Allure and Seven Mile, you know, people who want to collaborate with me who have different, um, you know, who, who want my input. It's not, it's not every group that we sign that's going to want my input because not everything's going to be what I do. So. But uh, if I imagine a situation like that, do I see then Mariah Carey behind a big desk as uh, the managing director of... Uh, Ain't got no desk. No? No desk in my office. Okay. I have like a chaise lounge where I can recline. And I don't really go up to the company that much. It's like my involvement is more from... I mean, let's say with Allure, that was the first thing we did. My involvement was I, I worked on three songs with the girls. Um, I helped come up with the album cover um, art, you know, I talked to them about different things. I lent them clothes, I did, you know, it's like different things down to that, you know, I mean, it's, it depends on how involved they want me to be. I mean, Seven Mile, my other group just came off tour with me, they sang their song, they sang a boys to men song a cappella. they're kind of like a young boys to men, they're like 17 through 19, they're really, really talented. So, um, you know, it varies. Well, I think it's very good because you've got all your, uh, your, your, uh, uh, how do you say that? Ervaring, kom ik niet op. Experience. Experience. Mm -hmm. But you can use all your experience to, uh, to, do you really want to give it to the, the, the new artists? Uh, to the I, I you've been in a, in a tough career and, and, and you've made it already. Right. They, I think that the most important thing is that the artist can relate to me. And I mean, we can hang out together and it's not like they feel like they're with a corporate figure or somebody that they don't relate to. They really relate to me as an artist and they aspire to get to where I've gotten career wise. Mm -hmm. So on one hand, they, they look to advice, they look to me for advice, but on the other hand, we could also just go hang out somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not like a corporate figure behind a desk. I don't think I'll ever be that. This is the Music Factory